What's up YouTube, Mr. Daniel J199 here, and welcome to episode 5 of my Bayern Munich Super League career mode. And we're going to start the episode with a match, match up against AC Milan. And they do have some nice players like El Shawari, Rabinho, Emanuelson, who really stood out in this match. But early on in the game, Rabinho scored in the 12th minute with a nice header, but straight after, Lucas finessed it past the keeper to, to equalise and make it 1-1. And do you think I should sell Lucas maybe in January or at the end of the season? And maybe replace him with Goza because I'm certainly thinking of doing that. Maybe even Hazard because he can play as a central attacking midfielder. But just before half time, Robin finds the net to equalise for the second time in the game. So at half time, Atletico Madrid were beating Barcelona 1 0. And Barcelona aren't really performing in this tournament. They're some way off the lead and they are something like 10th in the league. But as you just saw there, um, Aguero scored and made an equalised for the third time in the game. Bit of really unlucky bit of goalkeeping from Manuel Neuer, a, a header from Robinho off the bar and it came off the back of Neuer. But Aguero equalised and that's his second goal of the game to make it 4-4 and Robben scored one goal and also Lucas scored and Aguero got man the match. So that was quite a good game and as you see there Barcelona drew in the end and Manchester City 1-2-1 so into the next game and it's against Liga 1 team Marseille and I really like their away kit by the way so into the game and they have some nice players the likes of Joey Barton and um, IU or well known players I don't really like Joey Barton but they also have the addition of, of uh, Jermaine Defoe from Tottenham who in real life is in great form at the moment but at the start of the game Cruz in the 12th minute gives me a 1-0 lead but some really poor tackling from the defender leads to Jermaine Defoe having a penalty. And in the 14th minute, it was 1-1 and Marseille equalised. But a bit later on, I do get a free kick and Cruz took it because his stats are something like 83, 86 and something around the 80 for the last stat. So he scored that free kick and I was really proud of that free kick. But more importantly, Chelsea were losing 1-0 at Manchester United, which is really important because Chelsea are my main rivals at the moment because they're about three points behind me at the moment but the second goal of the game from a free kick was scored by Cruz again and that's his hat trick which is absolutely amazing and I haven't been playing Cruz much this year but I probably will play more now but I don't know who to swap him with uh, Schweinsteiger isn't really performing at the moment but uh, Xavi Martinez I don't the fact I don't like about him is that he gets forward too much like you just saw then but what a free kick that was from uh, from Cruz for his hat-trick of three kicks and his fourth goal of the game. And Shakiri finished the game with a 5-1 win. Absolute domination. And after the penalty that Jermaine Defoe scored, it was early one-way traffic. And I won 5-1 in the end. And Chelsea lost 2-0 against Manchester United, which gives me a bit of breathing space from Chelsea, which is important. So into the next game, and it was one of the biggest matches of the season. And it was against Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu. Maybe the hardest game of the season because Real Madrid is such an overpowered team on this game. So they have the likes of Ronaldo, obviously Ozil, Benzema, um, Callejon, all those great players. So they dominated the first half, but I was surprised to see this goal go in. So Aguero just beating the defender and smashing it past Casillas, who is one of the trickiest goalkeepers to pass. But Aguero scored and I was really happy with that. So um, all I'm looking at at the moment is Chelsea and they were beating Porto 2-1, no 2-0 sorry. And feel free to pause those re results just to see what else was happening. So I make a few substitutions because this is a midweek game, I think it was a Wednesday or something. So the stamina was quite low so I had to make some substitutions. But in the 66th minute, uh, uh, Alaba scored in a really surprising goal. But a really nice finesse shot from Higuain, a really powerful one, made it 2-2. And that was really disappointing. So Ribery got man the match in that game, but he didn't feature that much in the game. So Chelsea won 4-0 in the end, which really helps their goal difference. And I drew with Real Madrid. So they're my two main rivals at the moment. So into the next game, and it was another rival game. And it was against Chelsea, and this is a massive game. So I put up a full-strength team, even though I had the midweek game. As you can see, I'm playing Aguero, Muller, Ribery. But they weren't playing Hazard, who I think is their main threat. They weren't also playing Mata or um, Fernando Torres because they do have Benzema. They brought Benzema in this career mode. 
But Ribery with a slow finesse shot there, beating Petacek in the 34th minute to give him the lead. But straight after, some nice skill from Robin and a brilliant finish into the top left corner made it 2-0. And I was really surprised at this because my team is really performing at the moment and other teams are really not. So it's quite easy at the moment. I'm beating teams around me really easily. So Real Madrid were drawing 1-1 with Spurs, which is really important and I hope Spurs won that game. But a really nice header there from Xavi Martinez, who is getting a couple of goals this season. Makes it 3-0 and a, a great win there. And that makes, I have about a six-point gap at the top. And Neuer is now, got the man the match, sorry. And Czech got a 4.6 rating. So these were the results and Real Madrid ended up drawing. So this is my first international manager offer of the year. And in the end, I do store this. But that's about it for this episode. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.